U.S. sanctions Chinese officials for human rights abuses against Uyghur Muslims in the United States in Xinjiang, China. The Trump administration announced sanctions aimed at Chinese Communist Party officials whom the United States believes have been involved in carrying out human rights abuses against Uyghurs and other minorities in China. The U.S. said the Chinese government officials were being designated for their, quote, uh, quote, for their connection to serious human rights abuses against ethnic minorities in Xinjiang, which reportedly include mass arbitrary detention and severe physical abuse, among other serious abuses targeting Uyghurs, who are a Turk Muslim uh, population, population indigenous to Xinjiang, and other ethnic minorities in the region. Since 2017, as many as 2 million Uyghur Muslims and other ethnic minorities have been moved into re-education and detention camps, often referred to as concentration camps, in the western uh, Xinjiang province of China. Well, okay, so the problem, the problem with the United States is that, I mean, okay, so if anybody... Um, now comes and says, well, U.S. has its own human rights violation. Um, first of all, fuck you. Um, <laughs> yeah. Because you're, you know, that, even though you're right, we're mm -hmm. talking about China, okay? The, fa the way, here's, here's two ways to bring, okay, so United States wants to sa put sanctions on China for the human rights violations of Muslims there, okay? This is one of the greatest human rights violations of our lifetime. And if you don't recognize that, then, and if, you know, so I don't know what to tell you, okay? This is, these are, especially for all the people that say, never forget, never forget, oh, why, why are we not doing anything about this? People, people suffering. And then when something as obvious as this is happening and they ignore it or, or deny it, um, even though there's overwhelming evidence about this happening. So it's, I think it's a distraction method if you just with if every time we mention China's human rights violation, you mention United States violation rights violation, the fair way I think the fair way to bring up United States human rights violation in this scenario is only if you want to speak about it in a strategic sense. Okay, so yes, United States has its own human rights violation, but even more sadly than that is that it seems to um, you know turn away or pretend like countries like Saudi Arabia are not human rights, do not have human rights violation, right? So the reaction to that shouldn't be like, oh, so let's not support United States right now to put pressure on China because United States government seems to be a hypocrite. The, well, because this is important. It's important for us to put pressure on China. We cannot ignore this just because the United States government is, a, is being, you know, is hypocritical. But it's fair to point out the United States pressure on countries, you know, for their human rights abuses is very ineffective given how political United States government is about putting this pressure. Like you could discuss it from a strategic sense, how weak and pathetic is United States as a government if they allow Saudi Arabia to get, a, get away with its human rights violation, right? So so again, so the, the the main point is like, do not use this as a distraction from China's human rights violation, but do use it as um, arguing for how how sad it is that this is not going to work as effectively as if it would have had if United States was complete a, a country that was consistently always standing up against human rights violation. United States, unfortunately, is a country uh, that you know, is not only hasn't stopped Saudi Arabia against its human rights violation and aided it into, um, it sub financially supported it and it, um, in, in Saudi Arabia's greatest, greatest human rights violation against people of Yemen. Um, and again, this shouldn't stop us from supporting this. So far, China has gotten away with very little pushback for this, you know, for what they do to Muslims there. So this should be supported. I, I just wish that, like, so, like, like the United States is pushing, putting pressure on Iran, China, Russia, 
but not Saudi Arabia. So this is completely inconsistent with, you know, it, it shows that it's not human rights that matters, right? It's, it's just who's your ally, who's strategically what makes sense to the United States or not. But again, even if that's true, we still need to put the, we need, we still need to get, you know, take what we can get because, you know, the Islamic countries are not push, putting pressure on China. Like right now, United States is leading the way to defending Muslims than any other Islamic country. Not only Islamic countries are not supporting the Muslim, other than Turkey, I think, and I don't know what else, other country, Qatar, I think also, I'm not sure. But countries like Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, and Egypt have not only not said anything against China, they have congratulated them mm -hmm. for how effective they are at stopping terrorism, even though China is the terrorist state itself. Um, and just show hypocrisy. So, yeah, great job for these Muslim country, Muslim governments for making United States the leading champion of defending Muslims' rights. Rifka, Rifka. go ahead. So, I agree that, you know, definitely the United States should still keep the pressure on China. I think it's unfortunate that our standing in the world is gone down a little bit in terms of cutting ties with allies so that's difficult but I still think we still do have some standing and we still should call things out regardless so that's one thing but I wanted to say something else um, if somebody's interested I um, in knowing this that Majid Nawaz is on a hunger strike mm -hmm. um, uh, with regard to the treatment, the genocide of Uyghur Muslims in China. And he is trying to secure a debate in the UK Parliament um, for sanctions on individuals who are responsible for gross human rights violations. And he's got two petitions, if people are interested in them. Funny One you should mention that. Because I went ahead and posted those two petitions in the description of this video on both Facebook and YouTube. So if okay. you're watching this right now, there is one petition for the parliament that only members or UK citizens can oh, sign. UK so, citizens, right. And that's the one that matches it is on a hunger strike for. So please go sign that petition. They're almost if you're halfway a British there. Citizen. Exactly. If you're a British citizen, I don't want anyone to try to scrap this because they think that there's tampering. Um, don't let my man Majid starve anymore, okay? And second, I posted another petition that is just for the global audience. So citizens of the world, go sign that petition in the description. If you're um, watching this video live on either YouTube or Facebook, we have all of the stories we're talking about at the bottom of the video description. And I folded it to be under the title of this news so you can find it more easily. I put petition in all caps please go sign this petition. Um, I think that there needs to be infinitely more pressure on China. I don't give a fuck. I want more sanctions. I want more action. And taking less than a minute out of your day to sign a petition would be really meaningful to me. So, and to the millions of people who are interned. And to let people know, because honestly, a lot of people don't even know that this is happening right now. Right. So um, the top comments are: What does the U.S. look? Why doesn't the U.S. look at his his own country? His own country. Uh, didn't know the United States was a uh, he. Um, but okay. So this is a, a, a distraction tactic rather than a strategic tactic. You know. So no, Anna. Fuck you. Uh, Jen is saying faithful allies of Saudi Arabia suddenly. Uh, care about human rights well they don't and again this is a distraction tactic but even though these are distraction tactics it shows that this is the common you know this is the common reaction people will have and i wish if united states had a more consistent 
a strategy against human rights violations, again, th it, this wouldn't be the response th that they would have gotten, right? Again, but even though the United States government is a hypocrite, this doesn't deserve, this needs to be supported, okay? Um, 100%. Yeah. I get the uh, most disturbing comments when I post about this on Twitter. Hmm. People are saying that China is doing something right. How oh, yeah, depraved horrible. do you have to be by your anti-Muslim bigotry to think that China is doing something right by putting people in concentration camps, trying to re-educate them to lose their identity but in this name of counterterrorism, how much do you hate a group of people to think that these people deserve this? It's reprehensible. And I get so angry. We don't believe in collective guilt and we don't believe in collective punishment. And people say to me, oh, well, look at how religious minorities and atheists are treated in Islamic countries. Like, why are you talking about this? Blah, blah, blah. I'm talking about this because these people, no one deserves this. No group of people deserves this. And just because religious minorities are treated poorly in one part of the world, that does not mean that we stand idle while a different group of people are suffering. It doesn't matter what group they come from. This is human rights abuses, and we must stand up regardless of what categories we happen to put ourselves in it drives me yes. crazy uh, yes exactly never like again <clears throat> for a reason never again yep exactly like uh in india like the people around me most of them are obviously hindus and many are hindu nationalists and these people are saying that yeah, China is doing a very good thing because this is something every country needs to do, apparently, these people are saying. Uh, and when I say them, why do you support this? And they are, uh, tell me, like, just go to a, an Islamic country and see what they do to you. And I'm like, yeah, I know what they will do to me and I know how bad it is. That's why I don't want it to happen to other people. Is, isn't that reasoning good enough for people? I, I, I'm so freaking disgusted at these people. Like, yeah, Islam is shit, but seriously, like, do you really commit a genocide on Muslims for that? And also, all Muslims aren't Islam, and Islam isn't all Muslims. So I just, I find this is, that this yeah, sort this, of yeah. capturing it all in one thing really just, you know, very intellectually lazy and just really short-sighted this is yeah exactly Rivka. this is your mind on collectivism rather than visualism like oh let's screw those muslims over there and put them in concentration camps because the muslims over here would do this to us if we were doing over that like like, how dumb do you have to be for you to think like that? Susanna. It drives me crazy. And when people say, oh, well, they, oh, this group over there treats them, would, would treat you poorly. So why do you care what happens to them somewhere else? It, it, oh my gosh, this is why we fight for global freedom of expression. We can fight for both at the same time. All people should be free to believe and practice as they want, so long as it is not harming the other people around them, okay? Personally, I don't want to tell anyone what to believe. I want to give them the tools to think for themselves, okay? And putting these people in re-education thought reform camps is the exact opposite of that. It's not just the re-education and the thought reform. That's bad enough, but they are performing experiments on them. They're sterilizing them. They're pulling out their fingernails. They are taking their hair, which is dehumanizing. I mean, the, it is absolutely heinous. So I once again, please go sign those petitions. You have two petitions to sign if you're in the UK. You have this one that Majid Nawaz is hunger striking for. He's also in silent meditation. Two, there's the global one. Both are linked in this description. And um, 
if you want more information about the validity of this genocide, just go look up Majid Nawaz's uh, Twitter. He has dozens of threads outlining evidence for this genocide that has happened. People, people have legitimately tried to disprove this genocide in my comments, linking me to state-run media, and I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Well, because they're like, this is what when your anti Islam activism gets you to a point where you want to see all Muslims as evil all the time. Uh, and Muslims should never be shown to be the victim of any kind of brutality because that would go against your narrative. Um, uh, Armin, Armin, uh, well, about that, about people who are saying this, like, this is not something true, but this is the statement media, something like, or they're justifying the genocide of Muslims or anything. I don't think this is the anti-Islam activist because I know, most people we know that they yeah. don't know shit about Islam. To yeah, I mean, are we are we seriously gonna like how many like are we seriously back to oh Islam and Muslims are different? Like I mean, I think we need to say that because apparently most people don't uh, get that. I'm, I mean, I I mean, I yeah, I guess we have to go back to early 2000s apparently we haven't moved out anyways so i just want to address this uh comment here do the sanctions do, does u.s sanctions okay this is not grammatically correct do u.s sanctions have any effect um depends on how how strategically and how effectively they use um they do have more, a good effect if they are used consistently and based on um, standards that are used across the board and also if they are targeted there's a lot of studies on this uh, sanctions also work very effectively if there are if they target individuals within a government that are being shown to be directly responsible for human rights violations because the government the, a lot of these governments don't really care that much about what happens to their economy as long as their finances are okay um, and also if you target individuals within the government themselves um, it ha it's going to have a lot less collateral damage so again so standards that are being um, you know being consistently used across the board for every country and also more targeted sanctions I think is, are better and also the alternative to sanctions are what Unfortunately, we don't have any alternatives. Um, the alternative is war. Um, and if, if people think like war, well, we don't want war and they don't want sanctions either. And they also are saying, we'll never forget what, why is the rest of the world standing by and letting human rights violations happen? There is, so these are three different things. Like we have to pick one. There is no fourth option. Either you go to war, which nobody wants, I mean, no, most people don't want, or you do sanctions, or you just stand by and let people just do their human rights violations. There, there hasn't been, nobody has so far offered a fourth option. So sanctions seems to be the only tool that we have, so un unfortunately. Some people yeah. are like questioning whether this meets the standard of genocide. Yes, it does meet the standard of genocide. You do not need to literally be gassing people to, for it to meet the standard of genocide. Mm. First, what they were doing was on the level of cultural genocide. But what ha has recently been revealed with what they are doing to mass sterilize women, force abortions, separate families, and um, commit uh, yeah, mass sterilization, that's demographic engineering. That meets the, the U United Nations definition of genocide. We did a story about this one or two weeks ago. If you want to look up what this mass sterilization is all about, you can look at that. You can look up the UN uh, five, cri five criteria of genocide yourself. And yes, this is a genocide. This is from data from the Chinese government itself. Okay. Not to mention the fact that they are doing demographic engineering and trying to bring an ethnically Han Chinese into the area to try to um, just wipe out um, the Kazakhs and the Uyghurs. It's, it's a fact. R Rivka has her hands up. But, 
Okay, okay. By the way, Susanna, you're on fire today. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you haven't seen anything. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, all right. R um, nobody has anything else to say before we go to next news? Okay. By the way, I noticed that I, I interrupted Rivka more than other people today. That's just my anti-Semitism. Okay. That's me being like, that's all it is. Sorry. Sorry, Rivka. Okay. You got to interrogate that. <laughs> <laughs> right. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back. Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not telling people that we have shows because youtube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them cnn or cat videos or whatever but if there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow unfortunately we can't grow so we need you guys to share our videos 